Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca, and today I have an unboxing of the Illumicrate Daughter of Smoke and Bone Special Edition box. So if you guys are unfamiliar with Illumicrate, they are a monthly UK-based bookie subscription box. Every month you get a brand new hardback book and a selection of bookish goodies, and all of the books are either fantasy or science fiction. This box was kindly sent to me to show to you guys by the team over at Illumicrate, so thank you so much for sending this my way. I am very excited, and if you guys would like to get your own Illumicrate subscription after watching this video, I do have a code. My code is Becca5, and that will get you a discount on a three or six month subscription. So this in particular is a special edition box. The book in here is going to be Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I have not read Daughter of Smoke and Bone but I have read and adored Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares. The Strange the Dreamer duology is one of my favourite series of all time and I have been meaning to read Daughter of Smoke and Bone for quite some time. I've heard excellent things about it and I do think I will enjoy it. I just have not gotten around to it but this is the, is it the 10th? anniversary edition that's the reason why there's a special edition box the series has been released in brand new covers and illumicrates have made a hardback set the first book is in here and then you can order the second two in the trilogy separately so this is enormous this is a really big box i have already opened the top and taken out the spoiler booklet because when this arrived it says illumicrate on the label but it's just so large that i wasn't actually sure what it was so i am really excited to get into this because i do I believe it also features a large item which is why the box is so big that they have never featured before it is surprisingly light considering its size but yeah i just want to just want to crack this open and get the goodies out so that's what i'm going to do so on the top we have what appears to be a dust jacket. Does this have the book in? Yeah, the book is directly on top in the dust jacket so i will pop those to the side and show them to you last. Wow okay so this is what we have now i don't really know where to start with this i can't lie okay so i guess i'm gonna start with this item which appears to be a bookish tin i had a harry potter one of these when i was a kid in like this big size this is a door between worlds book tin the artwork is by rosie fawn so the art on here is pretty stunning on all of the panels then we have the inside flap as well. There is also some really cool detailing around the edge. So I'm going to dive into some of the smaller items down the side. This being the first one. Ooh! So this looks like a little incense thing, like a swingy incense thing which is the best description you're going to get of it till I find out what it is. It is a soul thurible which I believe is something from the book so you put souls inside it to keep them safe. Would really help if I had um, context for this series but it does on this little chain it says Caro. We also have a pin and it is a snapped wishbone. It says it snap split the world in two which is um, ominous. <laughs> Next up, ooh, next up we have a mug. There are mugs quite frequently included in Illumicrate, especially the special edition boxes. They are all designed by Rosie Thorns, but this one is actually inspired by Strange the Dreamer, which is exciting, because as I mentioned, that is one of my favorite series. I do really like these mugs, actually. I really like the art on them. Oh my god, I love it so much. So here we have Sarai and Laszlo. And I really like the colour scheme as well. Next up we've got this, which, oh god, that is beautiful. So this is a print designed by Mare Wild. I do really like Mare Wild's art style. And I can't tell you who any of these characters are because, as I said, I haven't read the book. But this is absolutely stunning. And then, finally, we have this enormous thing. Oh, are these people like bookends? This is how these are wrapped. And I thought this is this is kind of plain, these are weird, but then oh. 
Ooh, the bees are stunning. I'm not sure how I feel about them being like bright blue, but it does fit with like the theme of the series. So which one is the, this one is the beginning. And it says, once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. And then on this side, it says it did not end well, which to be fair, I am even more excited to read the series now. I also believe that it is set in Prague and we have the skyline depicted across the top of these wings. Also, angel wing, devil wing. Am I interpreting that right? These are really cool. I like these. I like these a lot. So I think that is it for the items in the box, aside from the book sleeve that the book comes in. So this one has been designed both by Mono Limar, who did one side, and Chatty Nora, who did the other. I've said this before, but the thing that I really like about Illumicrate book sleeves, in particular, I do just generally love book sleeves, but Illumicrate ones are kind of leathery, so they're wiped clean. If you spill anything on them, you can just wipe it off and you haven't damaged the fabric. But the quote side says, let me see if I can actually read this. Something was starting to take shape out of magic and will, smoke and bone. And I'm assuming that this is Carew and somebody but i don't know who so <laughs> let's have a look at the book da, 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 da. i believe that one of the most exclusive things about these is that even though they've been redesigned with new covers they're only available in paperback aside from if you get them from a lumicray so on the back we have the once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love it did not end well and honestly you know that is giving me a better feel of the series than anything that i've heard about it before because what i know about this is that it follows a girl called karu who works in prague but also like in another dimension and she is an artist Art student but also works for is it a chimera she works for some demon guy as like a messenger as well i think but we do have blue sprayed edges on this oh under the dust jacket we also have this foiled quote which says she had been innocent once little girl playing with feathers on the floor of a devil's lair she wasn't innocent now i like that and then we also have some really pretty Oh god, that is gorgeous. Under dust jacket art. Strangely, actually, we don't have any like spectacular end pages in here, which is something I have come to expect from Illumicrate, but I mean, it's a pretty book, it's fine. Um, and we do also have the signed tipping page as well. So overall, a very solid box. This has made me like 10 times more excited to read this series because I do think I'm gonna love it. I just keep starting the wrong series and then saying I'm not starting anymore because I need to finish the ones I have started and then start in different series anyway. But I think my favorite items from this box, I do generally just like a lot of the items that are in here because they are recurring items that come in a lot of Illumicrates and I just like them as a product. They're always stunning. In, and perfect examples being the mug and the dust jackets. No matter how many of these I get from Illumicrate, I will continue to love them. I do really like the print in here because it is stunning. But favorite item wise, probably gonna be going for these bookends. Once again, I think I would prefer them if they were black, but just generally, um, I have been needing bookends and i think that the overall design of them is very intricate and pretty also really liking this quote once upon a time an angel and a devil fell in love so it has that going for it as well so please let me know down in the comments what your guys favorite item from this box was if you guys would like to get your hands on your very own Illumicrate crates after watching this video or sign up to the newsletter check out the special editions they have coming up anything like that then a link to their website all of their social media and also my discount code will be in my description box for you guys once again a huge thank you to Loomcrate for providing this box and aside from all of that please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna if you head to my description box you'll find a link to my goodreads instagram and twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website the instagram for that and 10% off discount code but that's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you're a go where nobody knows with guns hidden under our petticoats. We're never gonna quit it, no, we're never gonna quit it, no.